yes so this is my 14th video on real analysis in the playlist of UPSC max optional so we are in the process of solving the previous year's questions so we are completed 2018 17 16 and in 15 we are completed three questions right so first in 2015 question paper there are four problems so first you start solved remodel integral problem and second problem is based on the convergence of the alternating series and third problem which is the last video I posted which is the convergence on which is about uniform convergence about series and the fourth problem is we need to find the maxima and minima value of the function right so you have to be very careful that here it is a function of only two variable right we have already solved one problem based on maxima and minima right so here we have we have to find the maximum minima along over the region right in that problem we have only had a function so if you have been if you have asked the previous videos please watch the previous videos and come back to this video right yes we have already solved one problem based on maximum and minima for the function of two variable so here it is also a function of two variable but we need to we need to in that problem we, we need we have found the maximum minima over a certain interval right here we are going to find the maximum minima over a region so you, you can easily see that we have to find the absolute maxima and minima of f of x comma y is equal to x square plus 3 y square minus y over the region x square plus 2 y square less than or equal to 1 which is an ellipse right so we need to find the maximum minima of the function over the x square plus 2 y square less than or equal to 1 so I will finish off very quickly these are very easy problems so our our function is f of x comma y is equal to x square plus 3 y square minus y so I want to make one important statement guys because the solutions I am giving it is not that easy for me to write to derive all solutions right there is no a single material that comprising all the previous year solutions on UPSC max optional so without any material I am driving I, I am deriving all the problems in my own so I have been spending so many I, 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 have, been, I have been spending so much time on writing the solutions right first I have to derive and I have to I have to be I have to be very confident that the solution is very correct then only I can post the videos right so this is not easy work so I request you to kindly follow the videos right because for the last 14 videos I have been solving all the problems that appeared on UPSC in my own and uh, it is not that easy task so you please follow the videos right yes so we need to find the absolute maxima and minima of the function over the region this so I'm going to follow the same technique which I did for function of two variable to find maxima and minima so first we have to find the critical point for this region right so for, for finding the critical point we need to solve fx is equal to 0 and fy is equal to 0 so if we differentiate partially with respect to x we will have 2x is equal to 0 so if we differentiate partially with respect to y we will have 6y minus 1 is equal to 0 so this means x is equal to 0 this means 6y is equal to 1 and this means y is equal to 1 by 6 so therefore 0 comma 1 by 6 is the critical point this is a critical point now we will find the value of the function at 0 comma 1 by 6 so we already have f of x comma y is equal to x square plus 3 y square minus y so our function value at 0 comma 1 by 6 will be f of 0 comma 1 by 6 is equal to 0 square plus 3 into 1 by 6 square minus 1 by 6 so this will be 3 into 1 by 36 minus 1 by 6 so which is 1 by 12 minus 1 by 6 so if I multiply into 2 into 2 we will have 1 minus 2 by 12 which is minus 1 by 12 so you mark this equation as 1 so our function value at 0 comma 1 by 6 so f of 0 comma 1 by 6 is minus 1 by 12 now this is the maximum for this function but we need to check but we need to check over the this region over this region so for that 
we have to first we will first we will check the boundary first we will first we will see at we will check the boundary of the boundary of this region so our boundary of this will be x square plus 2y square is equal to 1 right is equal to 1 so we will have so uh, i'm taking that function to be g so i'm defining g of x comma y over the boundary will be x square plus 2y square minus 1 right so this is our g of x comma y so i'm just considering so if i have x square plus 2y square is equal to 1 our x square will be 1 minus 2y square right? our, x, our x square will be 1 minus 2y square then our then this function f of x comma y if i substitute if i replace x square to be 1 minus 2 3 2 y square then we will have then we will have g of y right g is function of y so x square plus 3 y square minus y so i'm just substituting x square is equal to 1 minus 2y square plus 3y square minus y so this will be 1 plus y square minus y so this is our what I'm doing is I'm just replacing I'm just substituting I'm just replace I'm just substituting x I'm, I'm just taking x square from here and substituting in here right so we will find the maximum for this function now so we will find maximum for this function so maximum for this function will be the derivative has to be equal to 0 so that means do by do y of g of y has to be equal to 0. So that means 0 plus 2y minus 1 has to be equal to 0. So this means y is equal to 1 by 2. Right? So this is our maximum value. y is equal to 1 by 2. And x square. y is equal to 1 by 2 right yes now x square is equal to 1 minus 2 y square right x square is equal to 1 minus 2 y square now if y is equal to 1 by 2 then x square will become 1 minus 2 into 1 by 2 square so 1 minus 2 into 1 by 4 which is 1 minus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 so x square is equal to 1 by 2 means x is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2 right x is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2 now So we will keep this as it is. Now when x is equal to 0. Now when x is equal to 0. We have. We have substituting 0. So it will be 0 square is equal to 1 minus 2y square. So that means 2y square has to be equal to 1. So this means y square is equal to 1 by 2. So this means y is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 2. Right. Yes. So we will find so our points are 0 comma 1 by root 2 and 0 comma minus 1 by root 2. 0 comma minus 1 by root 2. Now you can check you can find the value of, at this point also that is f of 1 by root 2 comma 1 by 2 and f of minus 1 by root 2 comma 1 by 2 right so you will find these two points also because for single y we have 2x right so you will find this point also and uh, we want to find now f of 0 comma 1 by root 2 why i am substituting x equal to 0 because our critical points are x is equal to 0 
so f of 0 comma 1 by root 2 so f of 0 comma 1 by root 2 our f of x comma y is x square plus 3 y square minus y so if i substitute y square see y is equal to 1 by root 2 i'll have 0 plus 3 into 1 by root 2 square minus 1 by root 2 so which is 3 by 2 minus 1 by root 2 and f of 0 comma minus 1 by root 2 will be 0 plus 3 into minus 1 by root 2 square plus 1 by root 2 which is 3 by 2 plus 1 by root 2 so we will have 5 different values for so you mark this as 4 you mark this as 5 so you mark this as 3 you mark this as 4 right now among all those 5 you, you see that minus 1 by 2 is the minimum and uh, the maximum is 3 by 2 plus 1 by root 2 so therefore absolute absolute maximum is 3 by 2 plus 1 by root 2 and absolute minimum is minus 1 by 12 that's it so you, you find these two also and you will see that among all 5 the maximum will be 3 by 2 plus 1 by root 2 or minimum will be minus 1 by 12 right so that's it so we have completed 2015 question paper right so in, in 2015 we have four problems so first problem is Riemann integration problem our second problem is the convergence of alternating series third problem is the Con uniform convergence and fourth problem is the find the maximum minima for function of two variable over the certain region right so that's it so we have completed 18 17 16 15 right 18 7, 18 2018 2017 2016 2015 so we have completed four question papers so in the next video i'm going to start 2014 question paper so again we have four problems in 2014 question paper that is find the minima value so again you see that it is a maximum minima but it is based on Lagrange multipliers it's a very important problem and uh, second problem is the test the convergence of improper integral and third problem will be discuss the continuity so these are calculus problems but you don't know why it, why it asks in real analysis so fourth will be integrate the function 0 to 1 2x sin 1 by x minus cos 1 by x so in the upcoming videos you will solve these problems the next video we will move on to the 2014 question paper first problem which is the find the maxima minimum value subject to xyz is equal to a square by method of Lagrange multipliers so hope you enjoyed this video so we'll see in the next video goodbye so you please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel so we'll see in the next video goodbye thank you